Shalom Uvracha everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. This week's Parsha is Parsha Toldot. The Parsha starts Ele Toldot Yitzchak ben Avraham. Avraham Holid et Yitzchak. These are the stories, the, the things that happened to Yitzchak, the son of Avraham. Avraham was the father of Yitzchak. Why does it need to keep repeating this? We know these things. The Torah is trying to emphasize to us that because Yitzchak had such a special father like Abraham, that Abraham had worked so much spiritually and had elevated himself from level to level and gone higher and higher, he was able to have a son like Yitzchak, that Yitzchak was able to accomplish what he was able to accomplish. We know that they both had different ways of serving God. Abraham was more involved in kindness and inviting guests and teaching people about God, whereas Yitzchak was more about revealing the godliness deep within the earth. He loved digging wells, finding living waters, showing that even in the dirt you find this beautiful living water, that even in this physical realm and the physical things, if we uncover the dirt that's covering it up, we could see beautiful life-giving waters. And that's, that's a, a kind of a symbolism for life that even under the dirt we can find good things we could find if we keep looking and we keep you know keep seeing situ in even seemingly bad situations or something that's annoying us we can p possibly find good if we just keep looking and keep digging so Yitzhak has this connection to Abraham and the Torah makes a point of saying that that because he had such a special father that's why he was able to get to this level we also learn about the story of Yitzhak, uh, Yitzhak's sons Esav and Yaakov, the two twins, that R Rebecca, Rivka, while she was pregnant, f at first she did not realize that they were twins, and she thought that the baby must have had a split personality, because whenever she went by a house of, of godly learning, the house of Shem and Ever, the, the one of the, the baby who is Yaakov, which she didn't know, was getting excited and, and kicking around in the stomach. And whenever she would pass by idol, a house of idol worship, Esav, was getting excited and so she thought this baby must be crazy they tell her no it's not just a baby it's twins and it represents two different nations it represents two different energies in the world and that's why so the question is how could Yitzchak who was so holy and Rivka who was also holy have two such opposite sons like Esav and Yaakov what's the point of this Esav was supposed to be actually also one of the forefathers. He was supposed to represent the Baal Tshuva, the master of repentance, the one who returns to God even when they've done bad. This was supposed to be Esav, but Esav was not able to fulfill his potential and to fulfill his destiny, and therefore he was kind of dropped out of the team. And, and Yaakov had to pick up the work, Yaakov and his sons and the 12 tribes had to pick up the work of Esav. So by learning about this, may we be empowered to keep on doing the work of fulfilling our mission in this world, making this world a better place, revealing God's light in the world. And that's the power of Shabbat. Every Shabbat we're empowered to do this. And may we all be blessed. Shabbat Shalom. Umevorach.